And welcome back, where our next guest says not all Italian food products are alike, but who is he to judge? Oh, wait, okay, he was a judge on American <laughs> Chef America, so he can judge. He's got experience. We're joined now by Mario Rizzotti, along with Michael Glorioso, who's the general manager of Glorioso's Italian Market, to make you a better judge of fine Italian food. I like it all, so I, no. I guess I need to be pickier. How do you tell the really authentic Italian products well, from Well, there is the a trick. First of all, I know we are in a very fast-paced uh, country, but we have to spend a couple minutes to read the labels. Already on the labels, we can get a lot of ideas of what we're taking home. And what I'm about to tell you doesn't mean it's good or bad, but it will help you to distinguish what's real and what's fake. Mm -hmm. I want the consumer that they go, that they think they go to buy the Ferrari of Italian food, to go home with the Ferrari of Italian food. Now, the, unfortunately, right now, most of the consumers go and trying to get the Ferrari of Italian food, but they go home with just a red car. Mm -hmm, just yes. something fake. Completely right. different value. Mm -hmm. So therefore, first of all, look at the label. If it says product of Italy, it is Italian. If it doesn't, it's not. Okay. So packed in Italy is not Italian. Imported from Italy is not Italian. Really? Yes. Imported, imported from, from Italy is not Italian. Correct. If you actually look at the dictionary, the word imported stands for shipped from. So it is shipped from Italy. You might find some olive oils on the shelf if you read carefully the labels. They will tell you this product is imported from Italy. And it's uh, packed it with selected olive oil from Italy, Spain, Greece, and Tunisia. So therefore, they are not authentic Italians. And I know that Italian food is very well respected in many households. Yes. And therefore, we like to make sure that people really get the same flavors of Italy in their house with the authentic products of Italy. Mm -hmm. You know, many times I got people come to me and they say, how was in Italy? Everything was so great. I came back here, nothing <coughs> tastes the same. It's well, true. Because you don't get the same. That's why with <laughs> Academia Barilla and with the help of Glorioso, we have it on the market here available for you, and you can go buy it. Definitely is a product of a high quality mm -hmm. that distinguishes himself in many other ways. Well, and let's see. I know, Michael, that's one thing you pride yourself on is the fact that everything <coughs> you do carry is a true product from Italy. Well, you know, we do, uh, just because of the, the nature of the business, there are olive oils on it that are going to say product of Italy. Mm -hmm. and, and, of course, uh, you know, those are at different price points. Um, but uh, we certainly uh, live by the model quality as remembered long after price is forgotten at our business for the past 67 years. So true. You know, prosciutto is one of the things that when I was in Italy, it's everywhere. It's your appetizer. It's out for breakfast. It's, it's any place you go in a restaurant, it's always sitting out. So how do we know what a good prosciutto is and what to do with it? Well, there is a lot of uh, choices out there, as you know. Now, we're talking about prosciutto di Parma today. So okay. to distinguish already that there is prosciutto italiano, there is prosciutto from another country, there is prosciutto uh, di Parma, which is the one that we're going to speak about it today. Okay. Now, uh, there is many from the same town. When you go to the store, stick with the brand. Okay, so when you ask for prosciutto di Parma, first of all, stop asking, I want a pound of prosciutto imported. Imported can be imported from St. Louis. Uh, legally, it's imported. <laughs> doesn't matter, But right. it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. So quality-wise, i show you. We sliced something before we got here today. And you have to look at the color of the meat, first of all. And also, another good characteristic as well is going to be the smell or... You see these little white dots over here? Mm -hmm. The people think that are crystals actually of salt? They are not. They are actually amino acid released by the protein of a good meat well aged. Okay. So when you look at a piece of meat, when you look at a nice prosciutto di Parma also, look at a nice piece. Usually 16 pounds is the smallest I've seen in our company at Academia Borilla. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you want to do, make sure they slice it nice and thin. So but, thin. But also... This is part of our tasting, and you want to smell it. It smells like fresh meat, actually. Yeah, it doesn't smells smell, very good. It clean, smells actually yeah. clean. Mm -hmm. It smells fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, many of them, unfortunately, will smell rancid. Yes. And that is a characteristic of a person. You don't want that. Enough. No. Another and thing, when you do it, when you taste it, you want to also put it in your palate, and you want to actually taste sweet and mild, and then make sure they almost melts in your mouth. This okay. is another thing you can really judge by smell. Correct. Olive oil? Correct. Extra virgin olive oil, another one of the products in this country that... Uh, Unfortunately, there is plenty out there, but not too many are actually. How does it smell if good. it's bad? Uh, it will smell rancid. It will smell like chicory, or would have actually different smell uh, and flavor profiles. I've heard even it you smells know? like Play-Doh if it's bad. Uh -huh. That one is something that we have seen in the past <laughs> when we taste it. But the main way that we taste it usually and we smell it is that you know you put it in a cup, you want to warm it up with your hands a little bit. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do, you want to smell this one. Tell me what it smells like. Tomatoes. There you go. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. 
like the mm. green a vine fresh on the tomato. Smell of vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about it, putting this on a caprese salad, on a pasta with tomato sauce, grilled vegetables, on a great pizza, just a drizzle on it. Show us what you're going to make, because we only have about a minute left, sure. so I want you to kind of get chopping up, because people can make this at home. Arugula is really fresh. Is that the, the green that you're using right I'm now? I'm using some fresh arugula, arugula mm -hmm. today. I'm just going to put everything here. I'm going to use some fresh tomatoes for convenience, because we are live. Okay. I have to pre chop them already. You can use a cherry tomatoes, you can use any kind of tomatoes you prefer. I use a little bit of prosciutto, that prosciutto di parma, that I lightly uh, saute and fried actually. Yeah, it almost looks like so a little bit of bacon. Yeah, I'm making it a little bit crisp, yeah. And then uh, what I'll do also with this one, I also get an excellent extra virgin olive oil, the Academia Barilla Monte Blay mm -hmm. is what we're going to use for it. I like how you say that. Academia Barilla. Academia Barilla Monte <laughs> Blay. Well, you know, I won't lose the accent, I promise no, you. No, please worry. don't. No Michael, worry. you've got and a then, lot of exciting things that will involve Mario and yes. many other things at Gloriosa's. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Uh, this uh, Friday, April 26th, uh, we are conducting uh, two different classes, or Mario is going to be conducting a, a Parma a prosciutto and Reggiano Parmesan class, mm -hmm. uh, and also we're doing a uh, um, extra virgin olive oil and a balsamic vinegar class. And very exciting is on Saturday, Mario is going to be teaching some cooking classes, and they're very uh, inexpensive and affordable. They're fifteen dollars for the uh, educational classes, and you get a ten dollar coupon back for the store for, 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 towards purchase. That's fantastic. So it ends up costing you five dollars, <laughs> and the cooking class is a mere twenty-five dollars with a ten dollar coupon back only costing you 15 so this Friday and Saturday uh, call Gloriosos uh, secure a reservation it's a lot of fun as well as you can have some great food Gloriosos okay. is an adventure in itself also so yes. it'll be well worth it truly there's the information on your screen for the educational seminars here's where Gloriosos is right on East Brady Street the phone number on your screen to call for those tickets 414-272-0540 again it's just $15 you get a $10 coupon back so it's really just $5 so fantastic Gloriosos.com is the website. That's how you can make sure that you can get into Mario's classes this weekend. Again, there's three. There's olive oil, there's prosciutto, parmesan, and wine, and then there's chef's kitchen. Are you going to be making the salad? Uh, we're going to do actually something different, so I'm going to give this recipe away so you can come over and learn something new as well, so you're going to have your money worth it every single penny. <laughs> and the only now, dressing was the olive oil. Just well, extra virgin olive oil. If you want to add a little bit of sea oh, salt, you can great. do it, but I had the prosciutto that is going to give a little bit of the light, light saltiness to the dish. And I then I shaved some uh, Pecorino Grand Cru, which is a cheese at Academia Barilla that we proudly sell, and it's actually mm. an amazing flavor it looks profile. Fabulous. We love it. Thank you guys for being here so much. Thank you for having us. We're waiting for you. Last time you didn't come over, a lot I of know. people, All right, people I was were complaining. Gone that weekend. <laughs> okay. A lot of people came over and they were Do we looking get to for eat? you. You yes. get to eat and All you right. get to enjoy. How about you get to cook good. with me? So. Okay, well, now you know how to get over there yourself. So thank you so much for being <laughs> thank here. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it.